Good evening. A grieving family has told of its disgust after a fee hike for burying their father-in-law was blamed on the carbon tax. Springvale Cemetery has apologised for what it calls a misinformed statement. Chris White reports. Mourning their loss, the Maliki family went into Springvale Botanical Cemetery to work out the burial costs for their family patriarch, Ahmed. They were told there'd be a $55 price rise, with the receptionist telling them even the dead don't escape the carbon tax. A carbon tax on the dead? Um, not on. They, they work hard enough in their life to do what they need to do and pay their taxes. They certainly don't need to be paying a tax when they die. The cemetery management concedes a receptionist did blame the carbon tax for the price rises but was wrong. The cemetery burial charges went from $1,730 last financial year to $1,785 and that increase is in line with CPI and has nothing to do with the new federal impost. Whether that created any confusion or not in the minds of people, whether the staff or the family, I don't know, but that is a routine price adjustment. The federal opposition spokesman Greg Hunt was today capitalising on the family's grief, saying it is a tax that now follows you to your grave. We've heard of ambulance chases. He was out there chasing hearses, uh, trying to make a political point. If there were to be any fee increase because of the carbon tax, the cemetery's trust says it'll take six to 12 months to assess its full impact. And after nine days of a carbon tax, it's way too early. Very hard at the moment because we're still trying to mourn and respect this great man. Chris White, Nine News.